saw some claims online about hammerhead worms and how they could be dangerous to plants, so we wanted to see if they were true. For answers to these questions, we went to Dr. Sidney Crawley, an assistant professor of urban entomology at NC State, Matt Bertone, an entomologist at NC State, and Don Flynn, an adjunct curator of entomology at the Shield Museum. Now let's get to these claims. The first one, can hammerhead worms kill plants? No, they, they are not plant feeders at all. Flynn agrees, saying they don't kill plants. So we can verify that no, hammerhead worms do not kill plants. Next up, if you cut the worm in half, will it grow into two worms? It is true that they can regenerate from cut fragments. So that is absolutely true. You, do, you don't want to cut them up. You don't want to, you know, use a shovel to remove the head or something because they will grow back from those fragments. So we can verify that yes, if you cut the worm in half, it will grow into two worms. So how can you kill the worms? The claims online say you have to dissolve them in salt or vinegar. It's not that hard to kill them. You can just put salt on them. You could put them in a bag of rubbing alcohol. You could drop them in you know, a pan of soapy water. So we can verify that yes, to kill them, you can dissolve them in salt or vinegar. And finally, will you get sick if you touch them with your bare hands? You should wash your hands probably if you touch them, but it's nothing super dangerous as it sounds like the person is alluding to. This is not something you should be rushing to the emergency room if you touched one or anything like that. Dr. Crawley says they do produce the same type of toxin that jellyfish produce, but as long as you're not eating them, you should be fine. You would have to handle or ingest a lot of worms for it to cause a really big problem for a human. So we can verify that no, you will not get sick if you touch them with your bare hands, but make sure to wash them. With your Verify, I'm Brittany Van Voorhees.